Good start. Connell's going to be the first one down in the corner. Got him stacked up two wide, three wide. Back in the field. That's crowded. That's real crowded and real fast. Through turn number one and two. Keep your eye on Wyndham. Chops out across. And look out. The number 12 car dropping back into the field. Wyndham with a bold move on the initial start of this one. Puts the five car to the outside trying to pick off some spots. Meanwhile, up front, great run for C.J. Leary. Didn't lead him into turn number one and two. Don't lead him for lap number one, however. So we're still side by side back through. Stevie Sussex down the inside, bikes it up, gets back underneath of it again, and out across the nose. Now get Darlin down the inside. So meanwhile, here comes Sunshine. Slide job on Stockton down in turn number one and two. Picks up P4 on the field, stocking back to fifth. Blue still working the cushion through the corner, and down the back straightaway carries a lot of speed to the inside of Stockton. Hello, how you doing? Down into turn number three. Stock it up by on the racetrack. Watch Blue, the madman, the number 12 car coming off the bottom. He's got a spot. He's working her. Into the number five spot for the number 12 car. Right back to the cushion. Leary up front continues to work down the back straightaway. Bacon able to get into the number two spot, the number 99 car. While we were watching that back behind down to put Cottle third on the field. Back behind Darlin looking at the outside of Wyndham. Kevin Thomas Jr. trying to find some speed. The 69 car down the bottom, working that moisture onto the back straightaway with Justin Grant just out ahead. Is up front. You got yourself a new race leader. 99 car, Brady Bacon, good runs, return for three and four, dances his way around. C.J. Leary, the number 30 car, blew up to the number three spot, the number 12 car. Rockets his way down the back straightaway. Shane Cottle now back to fourth. And the 5G card, here comes Sunshine to 7BC. Don't count him out just yet. Plenty of laps to get the job done. Although Bacon up front is trying to run away and hide. He is bad fast down the front shoot. As meanwhile, keep your eye on Blue. has got to play it down the inside. Leary, turn number one and two. Slide job on Leary. He's got the number two spot away from him. Leary trying to turn it back to the inside. Not going to get there in time. Blue goes to P2 on the field. Now the macho man, Brady Bacon's got to mind his P's and Q's. Out of turn number four and down the front straightaway because Blue's coming. He's got a long road to hoe, but he has got the steed to do the deed as he's trailing by just a little over 2.4 seconds. Down into turn number one to two. We'll see if he's able to run him down. Brady Bacon getting squirreled up. Here comes Blue down the inside. Closes on him. Bacon drove down off the cushion, and that baby almost got out from underneath of him. Rips are down into turn number three and four laps are dwindling. Six laps to go this time by, and Blue, that was chumming the waters for the Sharks, and Brady Bacon right back to the gas again. Down into turn number one and two he goes. This time will not make that misstep. And the 99 car keeps himself out of blue, and blue right now is kind of pinching himself, saying, man, I should have capitalized on that opportunity. Because here comes the white flag up front for Brady Bacon. Macho man, be able to wheel the number 99 car. Takes her into turn number one and two. Robert Blue is close and just cannot get a grip on him. He's down the back straight for the final time into turn number three and four. He and Shishiana celebrating the birth of another child here this week. He's going to celebrate a victory here tonight at the Jim Herdebees Classic at Terre Haute Action Track. That's the Macho Man, Brady Bacon, the 99 car, picking up the win.